and we're gonna move over to the Capitol now so I can talk about one of our founding forefathers who used that revocable living trust for his clients. Hi, Jeff Marsacci, the plain English attorney. Do you want a government-free estate plan? Who wouldn't? Now, I'm here at Colonial Williamsburg, and behind me, we have the governor's palace. And back in colonial times, the governor, that was it. They were the representative of the king. They were the government. They could do whatever they wanted. It's no wonder people had a revolution to gain their freedom and have a lot more choice in their life. And when it comes to your estate plan, you can do the same thing. Let's talk about some of the downsides when government is involved in your estate. The first biggest thing that the government ends up controlling when it comes to your estate is if you don't have a plan, they decide who gets your stuff. Now that's a result that's kind of been consistent way back when it would be the firstborn son inherits the family home and all the businesses and everything and the rest of them well they're just kind of on their own times changed now most people have things so that they want it equally divided amongst their children when both they and their spouse are gone and there's all of these laws and rules thing is what if you don't want one of your kids to get stuff you have to have a written plan you have to actually have your own estate plan and then you can pick whomever you want and it's not the government deciding a second reason to want a government free estate plan is to avoid what's behind me this is the courthouse at Colonial Williamsburg. If you think it's important for educational videos like this to get out there, then please help us out by subscribing to the channel. So the court system is set up so that if somebody passes on with a will or without a will, anything that's titled in their name has to go through the court process and inventories have to be drafted and written and attested to and copies of invoices and canceled checks and it becomes this big paperwork nightmare that someone that someone you pick as your executor or administrator they're the ones who have to go through this process and it just ties everything up and it's frustrating again it's a government process now, if there's a way to avoid that and have the court free and therefore government free estate plan, wouldn't you do it? We're going to get to one of our founding forefathers who actually used a particular technique, first one in North America, to help his client avoid this. third reason to want a government free estate plan it's courthouse behind me but the public stocks one of the ways they ended up punishing people for crimes was putting them in the public stock so everybody could see their shame it was wide open when you have a government estate plan you have a last will and testament it goes through that process it's open to the public anyone can see what a deceased person had that became part of their estate. It was in all the inventories, court filings, open for anyone to see. Now that didn't just include the general public. This also includes marketing people, scam artists and whatnot. They can get your information. So wanting to free yourself of that entire court process also keeps stuff private.
a fourth reason to have a government-free estate plan is kind of right behind me. It's a jail. And maybe I'm trying to not fit a square peg in a round hole, but a slightly ovaled one. Jail, back in colonial times, for any major crime, they would be thrown into jail and potentially sit there for up to a year because their trial had to take place in England. So they would periodically ship people out for trial and sometimes they just disappeared. And that was something in the revolution that they just definitely did not want anymore. Local crimes, local justice. And so probate's kind of the same way in that it just takes a long, long time before the government approves what happens. When you don't have the government involved in that estate plan, it can go much more quickly. Now, by now you've probably guessed, if you've seen any of my previous videos, I'm talking about using a revocable living trust as the way to do an estate plan that eliminates all of those things that I just talked about. And we're gonna move over to the Capitol now so I could talk about one of our founding forefathers who used that revocable living trust for his clients. Now, right behind me is the capital for Williamsburg. At the time, it was the capital of Virginia when it was a colony, and much of the revolution was formed here. Now, one of the best orators of the time was a man by the name of Patrick Henry. He was also an attorney, and long before we were breaking away, one of his clients was actually the lieutenant governor, the actual acting on-site governor for the colony of Virginia. He used a revocable living trust for even that governor's estate plan. If it's good enough for the king's direct representative here in the colonies, it should be good enough for you too. So where can you learn more about revocable living trust? Well, I figured I'd use the backdrop of the secretary's office, and this is where they kept the official papers of Virginia so that knowledge couldn't be lost like it previously was in a fire. So we're gonna have some resources, but really one of the best places to look is my book, Estate Planning Basics, but there's also a book Numbers are a little out of date, but it's still one of the premier texts, The Living Trust by Henry W. Epps III. So go ahead, check out your library, check out your online booksellers, check out your bookstores, get whatever information you can. And if you prefer to get your information digitally through online courses, Check out the Estate Crash Course at estatecrashcourse.com as well as the free webinar at estatecrashcoursewebinar.com. So I hope you found all that information useful. Please check out the links. We've got the estate planning playlist where we talk more about revocable living trust so you can learn more about getting your own government-free estate plan put into place. And as I always tell my clients, please stay safe, plan ahead, and enjoy life. And whatever you do, make it a great day.